Welcome to this European Prophetic Council broadcast. My name is Dr. Arlene Westerhoff. I reside in the Netherlands and I host these broadcasts together with Dr. Sharon Stone, who resides in the United Kingdom. And today we are excited to have some prophets from the great nation of Hungary with us. Before we uh, introduce them, however, one of the things that we are trying to do with these EPC broadcasts is that we are trying to get the prophetic voice out there. God has raised up prophets in Europe. He's been raising them up for a while, and this is our way of platforming some of those in the nation, some of you in your nations in Europe, why? Because each one of the European nations has a sound, it has a history, and together we form the tapestry of what God is saying to this continent. And I love uh, the verse, Amos chapter 3, verse 7, we all know it. Indeed, the sovereign Lord does nothing without first telling it to his servants, the prophets. But then there's verse 8, the lion has roared. So who isn't frightened? The sovereign Lord has spoken. So who can refuse to proclaim his message? One of the things that we have on our hearts as European Prophetic Council is to help you to start prophetic councils in your nation of Europe. Why prophetic council? Simply so that prophets in the nation have a place where they can release their prophetic words. It's one thing to release a word, but it's another thing to have it released on a platform so that it can reach the people in the nation who need to hear it. What we're doing as European Prophetic Council, it's not a network, we're not asking for your money or for a membership or anything like that. But Dr. Sharon and myself, we are committed to serving you and to helping you to get the prophetic voice out there. And so, uh, Everyone, it is good to have you. And uh, we are going to let the Hungarian prophets introduce themselves. We are so looking forward to what you have to share with us. And so please share with us what you have on your heart. But I'm going to ask Rennie to start. Rennie, if you would introduce yourself, and then Mary, maybe, and then Andras. And if you could tell us a bit about what you're doing and then share what God's given you. Okay, nagyon nagy szeretettel köszöntök mindenkit, és nagyon hálás vagyok, hogy itt lehetek. I'm greeting all of you with great love, and I'm so thankful that I can be here. A Nemzeti Profétai Tanács tagjaiként vagyunk most itt. We are here as members of the National Prophetic Council. Uh, én magam a, a tanítok a nyári proféta suliban, a nemzeti profétai mozgalom tagjaként. I'm one of the teachers in the summer school of prophecy so, as a member of the pro, uh, prophetic movement. Uh, szolgálok az Alabastron projektben, ami egy magyarországi nagyon előretörő mozgalom jelenleg, profétai mozgalom. I'm also ministering in Alabaster project, which is a movement within the prophetic movement actually. És mindezek mellett Egerben, a városunkban vezetünk egy gyülekezetet a férjemmel. And besides all of this, we are leading a church in Eger, in the city of Eger, with my husband and family. Uh, aminek egy uh, öt évvel ezelőtt volt egy olyan áttörése, hogy létrejött a keresztények Egerért összefogás. And about five years ago, that we experienced a breakthrough in, in, uh, there in Eger because um, um, a committee was formed or a, an organization was formed which has the name Christians for the town of Eger. Six churches joined in this uh, uh, work and we actually have uh, every month, once every month, Uh, uh, a worship service or, or service together. Van egy közös profétasulink Egerben, az Egri profétasuli. Van egy Egri profétai csoport, ami működik. We have a prophetic group or group of prophets in Eger, but also school for prophets in Eger. Uh, havi rendszerességgel találkozunk, és emellett van egy uh, őrálló képzés, a Nehémiás képző. And uh, we meet on a monthly basis, and there is a training that we do, which is um, uh, uh, training for 
for uh, watch watchmen and watch women. Based, we call it the Nehemiah Nehemiah uh, training. Uh, emellett, uh, amit talán még így megemlítenék, hogy most jelent meg uh, két évvel egy könyvem, ami most idén angolul is uh, megszületett. And uh, something that's important to me is about two years ago uh, I published a book which is uh, going to be published in English very soon. És uh, nagyon hálás vagyok azért, hogy ezzel a egy magyarországi csapattal együtt szolgáltatunk ebben a nemzetben. And I'm so thankful that we can work together and minister together as a team here for our nation. Nagyon nagy szeretettel köszöntök mindenkit. I greet everyone with great love. Hálás vagyok, hogy itt lehetek. I'm so thankful I can be here. Nevem Eyasume Martonic Mária. My name is Eyasume Martonic Mária. A budapesti belvárosi gyülekezetnek vagyok a profitai csapatának a vezetője. I'm the leader of the prophetic group in the, in the uh, church in Budapest. A gyülekezetben az egyik fény. One of the elders in our church. És a három hetenként megrendezendő budapesti proféta sulinak az alkalomvezetője. And I am uh, one of the ministers and also the, uh, well, the meeting leader of the uh, uh, meeting in the Budapest region that we do every three weeks. Körülbelül 13 évvel ezelőtt láttam először profétát Mikes Attila személyében. It was about 13 years ago, first time in my life I saw a prophet, and that was Attila Mikes. Then about 10 years ago, Dr. Sharon Stone, when he visited us here in Budapest. And it was really um, a powerful experience to see how she ministers, and then we recognize that in the very small, as, as a beginning, we're doing actually something similar in our church. And then we started attending the prophetic school in uh, uh, Debrecen, the annual prophetic school, every summer. And those from our church who were attending this school, they went through an enormous uh, uh, growth. Egy nagyon erős csapat jött létre a gyülekezetem belül, profétai csapat. And finally, a, a really strong group of prophets uh, uh, came together in our church. Teljesen megszokott az Isten tiszteleteinken, hogy uh, az online térbe uh, profétálunk személyeknek uh, a nemzet felé, uh, az eklézsia felé. It is very common actually, or usual almost in our, in our service is that uh, we prophesy through the uh, stream uh, to, our, to the Church of Hungary. Maybe one last thing about myself. In 2016, December, that's when I was anointed to uh, uh, prophetic ministry uh, by um, uh, Apostle István Perjesi. És uh, a, nem olyan régen pedig beválasztottak a Nemzeti Profitai Tanácsba. And not so long ago I was invited to the Prophetic Council of Hungary. András? Oké. Okay. I would like to introduce myself rather in Hungarian because of uh, our translator is much better than my English, so... I will continue in Hungarian. Köszönöm. Én is nagyon hálás vagyok azért, hogy Isten belenyúlt az életembe, és először is, hogy megtalálkozhattam vele. I'm very thankful that God intervened in my life, and I had the chance to encounter him. Ez 2005-ben történt világi háttérből. This happened in 2005. I was... Uh, uh, coming from a non-believer, believer, és az útól kaptam új életet, kaptam egy feleséget, van négy kislányunk itthon. I got a new life from God, I got a wife, uh, and, and he has blessed me with four daughters. 
Az elmúlt 15 évben Budapesten éltem, és 2020-ban Isten vezetése alapján. Oké, okay. és 2020-ban Isten vezetés alapján vidékre költöztünk egy délkelet magyarországi városba. But in 2020 I had the, I have received the revelation from God and we moved with my family to one of the uh, cities in Hungary that is in the southeast region of Hungary. Ott pásztor lettem és elindul, el tudtunk indítani egy profitai csapatot is körülbelül 20 ember részvételével. I became a pastor there and we were able to actually start a, a profiting group with 20 people involved in it. 2013-ban mentem először a Debreceni Profita iskolába, ahol, ahol alapvetően megváltozott az életem, új tapasztalásokat, kijelentéseket szereztem Isten profitai dolgairól. It was in the year 2013, the first time I actually attended the School of Prophecy in Debrecen, the annual School of Prophecy, where my life really changed because I received some new revelations from God also pertaining my life. És elképesztő volt ott találkozni Dr. Sharona, Mikes Attiláikkal, és ez az életem motorja, ez a középpontja a szolgálatomnak. It was amazing to meet uh, uh, Dr. Sharon uh, Son there, also uh, Attila Mikesh there and the other prophetic leaders. And that is a determining point of my life and it is also engine to my, my, my ministry, those revelations. 2016 óta vettem részt a Magyar Profitai Mozgalomnak a PS20 nevezető csapatjában. Since 2016, I was involved in the uh, prophetic leadership group uh, for our nation, which was called PS20. It's 20 people. Szintén benne vagyok az alabástró mozgalomban. I minister in alabaster project. És ott is képezünk profitákat. Renével együtt részt veszünk mentorképzésben. I think that limits you to English, but you have translated me on occasion. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, and we understand you very well. Maybe you can go ahead and share what your okay. revelation is. Okay, I was looking for God's word, word in the last few days regarding the 2023 years and... Uh, I wasn't so happy because I was looking for something which is give us strength, which has give us hope, which has give, give us opportunity. Uh, but I've got only two things which is not so, not was according to my expectations. Uh, the first thing was two words. It was emerging war. And uh, uh, emerging war, emer is that right? emerg emerging war. Emerging war. Emerging war. Yes, that was one point, which is uh, I cannot go forward because uh, I, I was looking for something more, something deeper, but that's all what I received. And the same time I received another picture from God. It was a long line of uh, donkeys. And uh, this, this long donkeys was uh, in a row and... Uh, all of them with big uh, baskets on the on their backs and all of those baskets was were empty it was the main meaning for me that uh, the traditional uh, uh, merchandising routes are uh, somehow will be changed and all the baskets were empty. It's supposed to be like in the past, uh, the Silky Road uh, from China to Europe and China to Africa. And uh, it was the meaning for me that uh, the routes will, will be standing, but uh, the products, the goods will be missing. And uh, it means for me that somehow the, the trade will be stopped, the trade will be blocked even though 
the the roots will be able to 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 not the roots will be blocked then the product will be missing yeah i think that is a word that so many are receiving right now andres um you know and there's a lot of prophetic words about calling forth new supply and new supply lines and uh, so thank you for that i think that's uh, just such a confirmation and that word on emerging war you know i mean there's war going on all around the world but it is i think you know in the last days it just gets more frequent and uh, and more far reaching and so it is it is part of the the very culture that we're going to be dealing with for the rest of our lives and so thank you for that word uh reni could you share us your revelation yes uh Erre a mostani időszakra, amit kaptam az Úrtól, talán négy pontba tudom összefoglalni. What I've received for this uh, season from God, I can um, actually uh, organize it in four areas, four topics. Azt gondolom, hogy ez a mostani korszak, ez a mostani időszak egy korszak és egy szintváltás. I believe that this season is um, uh, a change, a changing season, a season of change. Uh, korszak váltás és... Korszak és szint. And also a change of level, a shifting of levels. We make oya mind amikor megérkeztünk a mostba, abba az időszakra, amire vártunk és készültünk. It feels like we have arrived in the now, and uh, this is the season that we've been preparing for and also anticipating. Mégis van ebben most egy kis megtorpanás, oya mind amikor sokan keresik a helyüket, mert nem a megszokott módon történnek a dolgok. But there is a little bit of stalling that we can sense because it's like people are searching for their place because things are not happening in the usual way. It is uh, similar to when you are in the theater and the final scene comes and the curtain goes up, the lights are, 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 are on and we need to be ready now for what's coming. Mondjuk most arra van szükségünk, hogy szellemben figyeljünk, és azt lássuk, ami szellemben van, mert nem ugyanazt fogjuk látni a láthatóban, mint amit szellemben látunk. And this is a time for listening in the spirit and seeing in the spirit, because we will not see in the material world, in the physical world, with our eyes the same as what we will see in the spirit. Ez az Ézsaiás 60 beszéltétség borítja a népeket, de rajtunk feltámad az úgy. It's as it says in Isaiah 6. Oops. They oh, just lost them. We'll see if we can get them back on in just a moment. But um, it's always encouraging when you hear prophets saying some of the same things. Because the Bible says that when he speaks to the prophets, you know, does he do anything without speaking to him? So there should be a strong overlap as well as a strong compliment that we all have the ability to bring. So we appreciate that uh, so much. Yeah, I'm going to welcome them back now. Please go ahead, Rennie. Okay. Volt is zajlik egy átrendeződés. Um, the reorganizing continues. Mint amikor a csata előtt a seregek elfoglalják a maguk állását. It's exactly like when the troops before a war are taking their positions. Azt gondolom, hogy ez történik a nemzetünkben, de Európa szerte is. I believe this is what's happening in our nation, but also across Europe. Azért is történhet ez meg, mert a profitai identitás erősödött és erősödik a nemzetekben. One of the reasons that this is happening is that uh, because prophetic identity is becoming stronger, it continues to become stronger in each nation. Magyarországon igen erősödött a profitai hang, de ezzel, ezzel együtt a profitai szó tekintéje, nem csak az eklésiára nézve, hanem nemzeti és kormányzati szinten is. Um, in Hungary, the prophetic identity and the voice, the prophetic voice, the strength of prophetic voice has been increasing and growing, not only uh, related to the church, but also to government. Uh, it's like in Deuteronomy, it says that uh, in, in, in the Song of Moses, Moses um, 
listen all nation to the to the song of what uh, the Lord is singing. And there is a willingness in people to hear what the Lord uh, wants to say. És ennek az a hatása, hogy a profitai nyelvezet elkezdi az emberek gondolkodását átváltoztatni. And uh, there is an impact or, or, or influence that we see that the prophetic language starts to uh, transcend into the thinking of people and have influence on the way people think. És hoz egy éjséget arra, hogy akarják hallgatni a reménységnek a beszédét. And there is a hunger stirred that people want to listen to the, uh, the word of, of hope. A, ez volt az első pont, hogy, hogy a profétai tekint, uh, identitás erősödik. A második, hogy van egy mozgósítás, egy felébresztés a nemzetekben. So my first point was that prophetic identity is becoming stronger. My second point is that there is a, like an initiation of moving people in, 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 uh, in our nations. Van egy erőteljes mozgósítás az eklésiában, őrállók és közbenjáró, profétai közbenjáró kerülnek a helyükre. The initiation is about uh, watchers, so watchmen and watchwomen actually uh, uh, taking their positions. És az ő feladatuk a gyülekezet ébresztése. And their responsibility is to wake the church up. És amilyen mértékben növekszik a profitai közbejárás, olyan mértékben uh, nő a kilépések, uh, és a, tehát a, a profitai kilépések és a felébredéseknek a szintje. So, uh, in the amount the prophetic intercession is increasing in equal amount there will be people stepping up and stepping out that the kilipe is meg a a növekedés stepping up and also the waking up of churches igen mint az efézusban van hogy ébredj fel aki alszol és támadj fel a halálból just like in ephesians it says uh, uh, rise up or sleep or rise up from death and and Christ will shine upon you. És van egy nagy elválasztás az élet és a halál között, és van egy felhívás a választásra, hogy választ az életet a halállal szemben. There is a, um, a clear separation between life and death, and there is now an invitation, a strong call to choose life. És ez a feszültség leginkább a vallásos erők és Isten népe között látszódik meg. And, and there is a tension visible between um, religious uh, forces and the actual people of God. Szellemben elkezdődött ez a szétválás, és egyre többen észreveszik azt, hogy vallásos erők fogságában vannak, babiloni fogságban, és elkezdenek mozgolódni, és keresik a szabadulásnak a módját. The separation already started in, in, in spirit, and more and more people actually recognize that they are uh, in a religious bondage, and uh, in the bondage of Babylon in that sense, and they are looking for uh, uh, being uh, uh, released from this body. A profétai közbejárók, imádkozók egyszerűen egy szelet kavarnak, és ez a szél ébrezgeti az embereket. The prophetic intercessors are actually stirring a wind, a wind that is actually waking these people up. Következő rész, hogy Isten akarja hozni az ő dicsőségét, de a bálványimádásnak a mértéke az olyan nagy, hogy, hogy még az visszatartja. Uh, the third part is that about God wanting to uh, send His glory out, but there is um, idolatry that is uh, 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 hindering this. Megszólalt egy kürtző nemzetek szerte, ami összegyűjti a népek, népeket. There was a trumpet uh, that uh, that was. Um, uh, that made the sound to collect the, the people of God. És összehívja őket, ez az egy beszerkesztésnek az ideje. Call them together and and uh, knit them in unity. És ez a világ számára is elkezd láthatóvá válni ez az egybeszerkesztés. And this knitting together is um, b- becoming uh, uh, visible for the world as well. De ehhez is Isten dicsőségére van szükség, mint amit Jézus mondott, hogy a dicsőségemet, amit nekem adtál, nekik adom, hogy egyet legyenek, hogy a világ megismerje őket. But we need the glory of God for this, as, as Jesus says in his uh, prayer, that the glory that you have given me, I'm giving uh, it to them, so that they would be one. Mint amikor Dániel egy Babilonban szolgáltak, felismerték a szabadulás idejét, when uh, Daniel was ministering in, in, in Babylon, they recognized the time of deliverance. Just like that, uh, there is a new season uh, with the grace uh, opening up for people and nation churches to come up from the bondage of uh, religion. And therefore, the spirit of faith will be stirred up. 
van egy szó, egy hang, ami Isten mondja, hogy ébresztő, keljetek fel városok, gyülekezetek, nemzetek, mert itt az idő, itt az idő, amikor ezt a lépést meg kell tenni előre. A strong voice of God can be heard saying that wake up now people, wake up now churches, wake up, wake up towns and wake up nations because it's time to do the will of God. És különösen szól ez azoknak, akik egyelőre még kívülről nézik ezt az időszakot, és nem tudnak mit kezdeni vele, hogy Isten szelleme itt van. Nekik szól, nekik is szól, hogy válasszátok az életet. And this wake up call is specifically to those who are just uh, watching right now from the outside, don't know yet what to do, and this uh, wake up call is going out, choose life. És hogy gyertek bejebb a folyóba, mert emberi elővel ezt a mostani időszakot nem fogjuk tudni megfogni, csak Isten szelleme által. And there is an invitation that come and enter into the river of God, because with merely human power this season cannot be victoriously uh, completed, but only uh, by the power of God. És mert Isten ki akarja árasztani az egyicsőségét. Because God wants to pour out his glory. Keresi azokat, azokat az életet, hogy ezt megtehetik. And he searches those through whom he can accomplish this. És ez nem megy alvás közben, csak harccal. And this cannot happen while we are sleeping, it only can happen through warfare. És ahogy növekszik az egység, egy, uh, növekszik egy szétválás is, mint amikor a vasúti sinek a váltónál szétválnak, és egyre inkább látható lesz ez a két irány, hogy valaki mozdul a dicsőséggel, vagy lemar, ott marad az alvásban. And as unity is increasing, the visibility of a separation is becoming more and more clear, just like on the railway track, when there is a, a point where the track actually divides into two sections. And uh, some will be sleeping and remaining, some will be going with the flow of glory. And the difference comes from uh, how much uh, how much room we allow for the presence of Jesus in our heart. Do we allow him to cleanse our hearts and and speak from a holiness just like uh, Isaiah's mouth was uh, cleansed by the call from the altar? És ennek az utolsó, ebből jön az utolsó pont a kiküldés, hogy kit küldjek el, amikor kész van erre a szív és Istennek a szelleme is ott van, akkor Isten kiküldi a, az ő népét, és nem csak magunk miatt állunk erősen, ne, hanem azért, hogy a szívek nyitva vannak az adásra. And my last point is is about sending out, and uh, there is uh, a sending um, that is happening right now, and it is not because of uh, only one's uh, heart being ready for the move of the Spirit, but also the season um, has this uniqueness that people want to, are ready to hear from God. Amen. 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 Mary, why don't you go ahead and share your word with us then, please? Az előttünk álló időszakban azt érzékeltem Európával kapcsolatban, az európai eklépsiával kapcsolatban, hogy hasonló nyomások fogják érni, mint Jónást a, a Cetha gyomrában. Related to the season that ahead of us, I've been sensing from the Lord that uh, per, actually pertaining to the whole Church of Europe, that there will be pressure coming, similar pressure as what Jonah has experienced when he was in the, in the belly of the fish. During the uh, past uh, weeks, I had the picture of a submarine that is actually descending, descending on the water, but in a very steep angle. Látom, hogy eléri a víz alatti hegyeknek a, a, az alját, a talapzatát. I've seen it reaching the foot of the underwater hills. Ez a tenger alattjáró nagy mélységekre lett tervezve, ez nem egy tengerparti kis kirándulásra lett tervezve, ahol a víz alatti élővilágot lehet megtekinteni. This submarine was designed for great, uh, entering great depths. It is not a submarine that's for sightseeing when you are uh, by the beach and you want to look at the, the creatures uh, on the water. A COVID alatt az elkerítettség izoláció volt jelenző, amit sok európai hívő megélt. During COVID there was a um, isolation that many uh, Christians in Europe experienced. Most az egymásra utaltság lesz a jellemző a következő időszakban. 
but right now it, uh, there is a season coming a season of depending on each other in a submarine you don't have much room to move around there are many people locked together there isn't a lot of opportunity for your private life ezek a nyomások lehetőséget adnak a hívőknek, hogy összezárjanak. These pressures actually give an opportunity to believers to press together, to squeeze together. Felértékelődik a házaknál való összegyülekezés. Uh, the, the value of gathering together at houses or by houses is gonna increase. Kisebb csoportok egy akaraton fogják keresni az Úr akaratát. Small groups will come together and search for the will of God in unity. Kiárad a hála a hívők szívében. Uh, thanksgiving is going to be poured out. És uh, nem biztos, hogy azért, mert uh, látható módon sok mindenért van, tehát sok mindenért lehet nekik hálát adni. It, it isn't because on the visible level there is so many things that we could be thankful for. Hanem azért pedig Isten megtartását. But because uh, uh, we are sensing how God is keeping us. There will be a deeper um, uh, experience, uh, uh, experienceable of the presence of God inward. Uh, the European, the Church of Europe is gonna yield to uh, um, the leading of the Holy Spirit, step by step. A mélységben átalakul a fókuszunk. In the death, our focus is gonna be transformed. A jóléti keresztények élete átalakul az önmaguk körül törkésből a kompromisszummentes Krisztusi életvitel folytató hívőké. Christians used to welfare and a busy life uh, will have their focus transformed into a focus on Christ and a life led by Christ. Ez az időszak készíti fel az európai eklézia nagy részét, hogy ugyanúgy belépjenek az elhívásukba, mint Jónás. This season is going to prepare the Church of Europe uh, to enter into their callings, just like uh, a situation in Jonah's life actually enabled him to enter or return back to the, his calling. Ez a felkészítés része, hogy a hívők evangéliumi, evangélium hirdetőkké váljanak a saját környezetükben. This is a season of preparation that believers uh, once again would become uh, uh, preachers of good news and the gospel in their environment. It is a preparation that the harvest could start, uh, begin in Europe. I'd like to read from the book of Jonah, chapter 2, uh, from verse 8. Amikor elcsüggel a lelkem, az Úrra gondoltam, és imádságom eljutott hozzád Szent Templomodba. When I was in distress, uh, I thought of the Lord, and my prayer has uh, entered into His holy temple. Akik hitvány balványokhoz ragaszkodnak, azok elhagyják jó tevőjüket. Those who uh, insist to idols, they are uh, departing from the one who is doing good for them. De én hála éneket zengve áldozok neked, és amint megfogadtam, teljesítem. Az Úrtól jön a szabadulás. But I bring you worship in thanksgiving and a sacrifice, because deliverance comes from the Lord. És a nagyon erős hangsúly, amit megfogadtam, teljesítem, vers részem van. And I will do or, or fulfill what I promised, and my, the emphasis is really on, on, on completing uh, or fulfilling the promises. Az, hogy komolyan, uh, venni, uh, a való we would start to take, take seriously walking in covenant. Beletenni, uh, azt, ami a mi ebbe a amit, uh, we would start to invest our part into this covenant that we have made with Christ. És ahogy ez felszabadul, úgy, úgy egyszerűen meglátjuk azt a gyümölcs termést, azt az aratást, amit Isten elkészített rajtunk keresztül. And uh, as uh, this is uh, released or releasing, we will, see, we will bear those fruits that Jesus has planned for us to, to, to bring forth. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Well, then, thank you so, so very, very much. Uh, just before I turn it over to Dr. Sharon, just uh, two things, Remy. I, what I really appreciated about your word was also the depth of it, uh, too. But um, um, when you said, you know, when Daniel was ministering in Babylon, he recognized the time of deliverance. And I found that tremendously encouraging. Why? Because that's our role and our function as prophets in the nations to recognize when the time has shifted, when things have changed, so that we can trump that forward. And uh, love it. You didn't just say, you know, time has changed. But you said, wake up, people. Wake up, churches, and wake up nations, for it's time to do the will of God. Really, really strong uh, in that. And Mary, thank you uh, so much. It's just that whole thing about, you know, just the pressure uh, that the church in Europe is under it really is uh, very much. It's the wake up, it's time, but it also is a, a time of great, great pressure. But uh, the word of hope that you gave in your word also, too, is indeed small groups will start to emerge, will seek the will of God and uh, that the Lord will uh, replenish and re rejuvenate the church in Europe. Hallelujah. Dr. Sharon, I turn it over to you. First of all, I just want to say thank you, friends. It's good to see you. It's good to hear from you. And thank you for those quality revelations. And we believe they'll affect your country as well as those that are listening to this uh, prophetic broadcast. We just want to encourage those that are watching today, please send this out on your database. Please send it to your friends. Um, the um, broadcast last year made it to over a million views. And I believe that is because there was such a void in Europe uh, for a release of the diverse prophetic voices. And so we want you to be a part of that solution. So thank you, everybody, for your participation today. We love you. We appreciate you. See you at ne next.